What's up Amazon sellers? If you are thinking about selling on Amazon through the Amazon FBA program, well today I am going to go through all the fees that you need to know about and I'm going to share three other fees that maybe you don't know about but you should. So stay tuned, we will get into this now. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson. I have been doing Amazon arbitrage for the last four years, and right now I'm on a mission to do one million pounds in 2020, and I will drop a link up there for you to see a video about that journey that's gonna, hey, maybe help you understand how I'm doing it. You can take some top tips and tricks away to support you in your business as well. Today, let's go through what I'm gonna be talking about in this video to help you in your Amazon business, understanding the fees, doing FBA, and some of the fees that maybe you don't know about. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna be talking about the fees that you see on the Amazon Revenue Calculator. We will go through all of them step by step, explain what they are and what do they mean. So number one, I'm gonna be talking about the Amazon referral fee. Number two, I'm gonna talk about the Amazon variable closing fee. Number three, I'm gonna be talking about the fulfillment fee or FBA fee. Number four, I'm gonna be talking about the storage cost fee. And in addition to this, I'm gonna be talking about three additional things that you need to be aware of. Number one, the hidden cost of refunds on Amazon. Number two, long-term storage fees and what you need to be aware of that. And then number three, taxes. Yes, I hate them, taxes, but you should understand how they work and how they're not shown on the Amazon Revenue Calculator and what you need to add on to make sure that your calculations are correct for when you actually sell on Amazon. Okay, so first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to load up the Amazon Revenue Calculator. Now, if you've started on Amazon, you've probably heard about lots of different tools, but most people just find out about the Amazon Revenue Calculator. What I'm going to do is load it up, I'll put in a product that I found, and we'll just go through each of the individual fees and talk it through what they are and where they come from and what you need to understand. So let's, first things first, let's jump into that Amazon Revenue Calculator and show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so here is a product that I found earlier and I've put in. So quite simply, um, let's say for example, we're gonna put in now 100 pound to sell this product. So let's just put 100 pound for this hair gel. My God, expensive hair gel. But quite simply, and we're just gonna go and calculate. Now, as you scroll down, the one thing that you can see here is selling on Amazon fees. That's gonna be the first one. Now, quite simply, if I break this down, you are gonna get two fees. The first one is the Amazon referral fee and the variable closing cost. Now, quite simply, the Amazon referral fee is the fee that you pay to sell on the Amazon marketplace. Should we say on the website, that is the fee that Amazon takes from the selling price to sell on the marketplace. Now, quite simply, normally this is 15% of the sale price. So say for example, £100, this would be £15. Now, the one thing you're going to probably notice straight away is this is £15.30. There is a reason for that, and it's something called EU digital tax, and we'll talk about that later. But what you've got to understand is that the fee from Amazon is normally 15%, but what I'll do is I'll drop a link down below where you can see all the fees. You don't really have to understand them. Use the calculator, it's going to tell you the right thing. Now, the one thing you want to be aware of, there are certain products within Amazon which have a variation in their fees to sell on the platform at a certain price point. So for example, this product at £100, it's going to be a 15% fee plus the digital sales tax. Now, if we were to come down and reduce this, let's say for example, right now, I make this £10.01 and redo that calculation. What's it going to show? It's going to show pretty much the same, 15 or £1.53, roughly 15%. Now, if I were to change that by just 1p, make it £10, and redo that calculation, it's now dropped not £1.53 to £1.52, it's actually dropped now to 82p. What's happened? Well, quite simply, certain products, generally in the grocery and health and beauty categories, have what's known as a reduced referral fee when they're sold below £10 or even $10 in the US. They will reduce the amount that the referral fee is as a percentage from 15 down to eight. So a great opportunity there if you know how to take advantage of it, but just be mindful, certain products will go from 15 down to eight. 
and that's on the referral fee. Okay, so the next one I'll talk about is what's known as the referable closing fee. Now, quite simply, this, are, this is for products which Amazon considers are media products. And in the UK, it's, addition, it's an additional 50p charge on top. And in the US, it's a range from about $1.35 up to about $1.80, depending on the product. Again, use the revenue calculator. What I'll do now is quickly jump back on the revenue calculator and show you an example of this fee in action. So here I have found a British Legends album. Yes, very topical because I am British as well. And quite simply, if I were to put in here, let's say for example, hundred pounds and calculate that, what are we gonna see? Well, we've got a selling on Amazon fees. We've got it right here. Right here, we've got an Amazon referral fee. Again, that 15% plus the digital sales tax. And then in addition to that, we have got the variable closing fee, which is 50p. So any media items are gonna have a 50p charge in the UK and anywhere between £1.30, I think it is, up to about $1.85 or $1.30, sorry, $1.35 of $1.80 in the US. Now, the third fee, which I'll talk about is quite simply the fulfillment fee or the Amazon FBA fee. This is the fee that you pay when you use Amazon fulfillment services getting the product from Amazon warehouses to the customer. Now, this is a fixed fee. It's not at the percentage of the actual sale value. So again, the Amazon revenue calculator is gonna show you that. And for this example right here, where we sold the item for hundred pound, if you scroll down, you can see here, Amazon fulfillment fee, and that is showing here at one pound 66. So it's gonna cost one pound 66 for a member of staff to take that from the shelf, put it in a box, seal up the box, put the sticker on it, and then put it in obviously for delivery to the delivery the next day as part of their shipping to get it to the customer using the FBA fulfillment by Amazon service. Now, generally speaking, the FBA fee is based on the size and the weight of the product. And obviously the bigger the product, the more you're gonna pay and the smaller the product, i.e. This, this media item, the CD is gonna be a lot cheaper. So just be mindful of that. That is gonna increase as the product gets bigger and it's based on the product, not on the sale price. So the fourth and final one that I'll talk about in regards to the well-known fees is the Amazon storage fee. Now, obviously when you're using fulfillment by Amazon, you are storing your products in Amazon warehouses and obviously that costs money. So on the Amazon revenue calculator, they are gonna have a section whereby they show you how much it's gonna cost you to store that product in Amazon for one month. Now, you probably wanna to account for this in your inventory. If you are looking at holding anything for over a month, that's gonna be a cost involved. And what's that cost based on? It's based on the size of the product. The bigger the product, the bigger the cost. The smaller the product, the smaller the cost. For example, right here, our wonderful British Legends album, this is gonna cost us 1p a month to store on Amazon warehouses. So just be mindful of that. That's another fee that you've got to take into consideration when you are selling on Amazon. And in the Amazon Revenue Calculator, it does show you that information there, which is obviously really helpful. Okay, so we have now talked about the four things that you should know about and you can see on the Amazon Revenue Calculator. Now it's the time to talk about three things that maybe you're unaware of that, hey, are gonna add into your profits or gonna eat into your profits, sorry, that you should be aware of. So first things first, what I'll talk about is long-term storage fees. Now, hopefully you are never gonna have to experience these, but if you do, this is another fee you're gonna add on. Long-term storage fees are exactly as it says on the tin. It is a fee that you pay for long-term storage within Amazon's fulfillment centers using the Amazon FBA program. Quite simply, if you have products that have been in Amazon's fulfillment centers for longer than one year, 365 days, they say on their policy, then you will be charged a fee. Now this fee is based on either if it's a non-media item or a media item. So things like CDs, audio, they are gonna be media items, toys and games, non-media items. Now they are basically charged at a different rate depending on what they are, and they're actually charged on the storage space that they use up. So bigger items are obviously gonna be charging a lot more than smaller items, but also as well, they're gonna be charged at different rates depending on whether they are media or non-media items. What I'll do is I'll drop a link down below for a document on that so you can see the long-term storage fees. Now, hopefully you are not gonna be storing your products in Amazon's warehouses for longer than a year, but if you are, then that is gonna be another cost that you need to consider. Okay, so one of the questions you might be asking is what can you do if you have long-term storage fees? How can I get rid of them or how can I get the inventory out? So quite simply, I will show you now on a screen share. Let's go.
go through that. Okay, so if you want to know uh, what to do to help protect you against long-term storage fees, there is a setting within Amazon Seller Central that you can turn on that is going to basically re return all those long-term items to you before they hit those that long-term storage fee. So how do you do it? Let me show you now. Quite simply, what you want to do is obviously go into your Amazon Seller Central account. Now on the settings menu, click Fulfillment by Amazon. On the Fulfillment by Amazon settings menu, locate the Automate Long-Term Storage Fee Removal settings and then click Edit. Now on the long-term or on the automated long-term storage fee removal settings, you want to select the option to return those items subject to long-term storage fees. Now, obviously what you want to do is make sure you've got the right address in there and enter all the details and then click update. And that is it, quite simply, they are gonna get returned to you obviously before they hit those long-term storage fees, saving you money, but also as well, making sure that you get your stock back. Okay, so the next one I'll talk about is returns processing fees. Now, the one thing you've got to be aware of this is when you sell via Amazon, quite simply, what are you doing? You are using Amazon's fulfillment network to get the products from Amazon's warehouses to the customer. Now you think when a customer asks for a return and obviously they're going to return the product, you get the product back and then all the money that you took for that, there you then give them back to them. And obviously any fees that you paid, you then get a refund on those fees because obviously you didn't sell the product. Well, yes, that is correct, but there is one fee that you still pay regardless of whether the customer kept the product or not, and that is the FBA fee. So quite simply, if you paid 10 pound, or if customer paid 10 pound for a product, they might have the referral fee in there, the FBA fee, then obviously any extra cost that you have. Now, quite simply, when they ask for a refund, they get that 10 pound back you still have to pay that FBA fee in there, even though you don't get to keep any of the other money. So when you sell a product and it gets a return from the customer, yes, you get the product back, but you still have to pay that FBA fee to get the product from Amazon's warehouses to the customer in the first place. That is a fee that you're going to have to absorb into your business. Question for you, are you aware of those return fees? Not so much the return fee, but the fact that you still have to pay that FBA fee when a customer returns an item. Did you aware or are you aware of that? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm interested to see how many people knew. So the final fee that people don't understand or don't know about is quite simply taxes or VAT and other taxes in the EU that will affect your sales on Amazon. So quite simply, when you are using the Amazon Revenue Calculator, they are going to show you the fees that Amazon charges, which is correct. They are the correct fees that Amazon charges. But what they also do is they charge things such as VAT on top of that. Why? Because they are required to do so by law within the EU. So the price you see on the revenue calculator is correct, but there are additional things that you are going to see as well afterwards, not charged by Amazon, but charged by the government, which you don't see on the revenue calculator. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the digital tax. So within the EU, the EU have introduced a new tax, which is quite simply a tax on large online or large businesses, large online sellers such as Amazon. And this tax is called the digital service tax. Now, quite simply, this is a 2% charge that they charge to people such as Amazon for using their services or having these ads like an additional tax within the EU. So quite simply, if we go back to the revenue calculator and we'll do that now, what you probably saw was that addition, to start with, I talked about a 15% referral fee. Now there's an additional 2% charge on top of that. Now this isn't 15% plus 2%, i.e. 17%, no. This is 15, 2% of 15% added back on. So now it makes 15.3. Not the easiest thing in the world, but what you've got to understand is that the fee that Amazon charges us for the privilege of selling on their marketplace, there is a tax on that fee, not in addition to it, but on that fee that is obviously going to have, that we are going to have to pay as well that gets added on. That's just the tax that happens. Now, the next tax that you need to be aware of is VAT. Now, across the whole of the EU, each country has different VAT rates, rates and VAT stands for Value Added Tax. Now, this in the UK is currently 20%, let's say 19. Now, this tax in the UK is currently 20%, and this is added on to the fees that you are going to pay for Amazon. So, if you are a new seller and you're not sure whether you're VAT registered or not, basically, if you are not sure, then you need to add 20% onto all the fees you see on the Amazon Revenue Calculator. 
because that means Amazon, when you get your bill, will charge you the fee that they charge you, that you see on the Amazon revenue calendar, and then the UK government will ask them to charge an additional 20% on those fees because that's how the businesses work. The businesses add on the VAT on top when they're doing business to business transactions. So for you, you are a business that's selling on Amazon and you obviously have to pay that fee. So if you're not sure, whenever you look at the revenue calculator and you see the referral fee, the FBA fee, closing fee, storage fees, all those fees are the fees Amazon are charging you and then you've got to add 20% on top of them as well to include for the VAT that is going to be charged by the government that Amazon basically does it on behalf of the government, value added tax. Now, the one thing I will say is VAT is a complex, complex thing to understand. And what I will say is I've created a video about it and explained it in a lot more detail up here. Watch that, it's really gonna help you understand what VAT is and how it affects you in your Amazon business. Okay, so that is pretty much everything that I've gone through today. What I will do is I'll drop all the links to all the documents down below so you can see them. We've talked about the four fees that you can see on the Amazon Revenue Calculator. And then in addition to that, the three fees that you can't see, that you should probably be aware of when you are selling. I'll drop links to all those documents down below. And hey, what I will say is give me a big thumbs up if you've liked this content. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And hey, drop any comments down below, any questions you might have. Obviously, I'll get better right back to you. So maybe you are just thinking about starting selling on Amazon. What I am doing is I'm going to drop a link around here about how much it costs to start selling on Amazon to help you in that Amazon journey. But what I will say from me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.